Frankie, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time today. Um, growing up in, in South Virginia, you, what, what was it about, about performing that, was it, was it something that you, that you first saw as a, as a young person, an experience that you had? What was the, kind of the, the, the catalyst that was, this is, this is what I have to do, and, I, and there's nothing else? Like a lot of Southerners, it all came out of the church for me. I was very, um, very much the, one of the star, star performers in the church, mm -hmm. you know, choir, uh, announcing the guests, sitting down. My mother was religious about keeping me in for the service to watch the minister. The dramatic um, effect of church just mm -hmm. bowled me over. I mean, that's, I thought it was just so amazing to see one person up there mm -hmm. that can mesmerize uh, the audience of a hundred. 200, however church members they were, and he got a chance to elevate, to go from this to that, and yell, and scream, and be dramatic, and be emotional. Yeah. I was hooked from a very early age, just from the church. My process has always been a process of observation in life. I know a lot about life, because I always walk through life with my eyes open. The second part of this thing is the writer. The writer is very important to me, because if they don't do their work correctly, then no matter how great a storyteller I am, or no matter how much I try to process or go from character to character this to character that, it won't make any sense because your story is not right. So I'm a very collaborative kind of actor. I'm a student of life. I love life. I love people. I love to engage. I talk to everybody. I feel comfortable talking to anybody yeah. from the highest of the highest to the lowest of the low. I'm just always curious and there's always a story to be gotten. My mom always says to me, she's, when growing up, she said that everyone, everyone has a story and you, you never know, you never know that person's story until you, you sit and talk to them. Right. You, just, you don't know. And I think, I mean, you just, you And you, you can't take it that. for granted. In, in 2002, you, um, you received a, an honorary doctorate from Illinois Wellesley College. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I'm a doctor. I mean, and we, then we'll, you should understand that I'm a doctor. We should have started. This you know, you should you should have. Doctor, that's the first thing you should open this thing with. Doctor phase on. Show today was, was I'm a that doctor, way. man. I got my degree <laughs> and everything. I'm gonna send it in. I want you to. I want you to Photoshop it into this interview some kind of way. Doctor Frankie, yeah, yeah. Paul and Doctor Frankie. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> give, me some props. give me some props here. Yeah. Well, we'll take care. if you could take care of that, please, Jeremy. Sorry about that, Frankie, for not having that uh, yeah, done. That no, just, ahead, ahead of time. It's so hard to be disrespected. Yeah. I, unbelievable. First with the coffee, yeah. not immediately in the croissant, and go. then now we got. There now we, we go. Got, Much better. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah. Thanks for, for taking care of that. And we can we can joke and kid, but it's no small thing to no, to, to receive that. No, it, I guess it's not. I mean, but, but to me, this is who I am. Right. There's yeah. nothing in the world that can happen that I would consider a big thing per se. Okay. I mean, yes, I'm honored to have gotten that. I was honored to be invited to speak, yeah. and you know, but it's it's a very humbling kind of thing. It's what you yeah. you know. I just went and exchanged some thoughts and ideas that I had with the graduating class, you yeah. know, of that year. And um, they say, well, you're an honor, you get an honorary doctorate degree. The yeah. thing that I care about is that personal exchange, the thing that happened between me and those students and that faculty and their families on that day. Yeah. That's the thing that made it important to me. You, you've been in, with the exception of the, the television show, the, the, all the Hannibal Lecter series. That's true. I mean, the very first one I did, uh, Manhunter, was, that was before the Hannibal became, you know, really a quote unquote, right. a commercial product. And then Silence of the Lambs came up, and I went in for an interview with Jonathan Demme. He, we, he joked about my resume, and I had something at the top of my resume was something like the film Ragtime mm -hmm. that I'd done with the late, great James Cagney. Yeah. And I just said how proud I am of that. Yeah. And then I'd done a film with Sidney Poitier, and how proud I was of that. And Jonathan said, well, okay. If I give you this job, I want you to put me up at the top. <laughs> I said, Johnny, you got it, man. And then, you know, because I really wanted, you know, because I thought that Silence would be a very significant film. Is there a, is there a specific, um, uh, what's, what's a, a platform 
that you that you enjoy the challenge more of? Well, without a doubt, I'm a theater actor. Theater was just mesmerizing because that's the truest form in which the actor actually gets a chance to to make a statement. And it also challenges you because in theater, you're using from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Yeah. Everything, they see everything. And it's the greatest test, it is yeah. the greatest test. Because you can make someone look pretty good in film and in television. Yeah. But you can't make them look good on stage if they don't have the training and they don't you know, have the, the chops. chops. That's it. It ain't gonna happen. Yeah. It ain't gonna happen. Um, but I, I have to have to talk about uh, Police Commissioner Burrell. Oh, because, Burrell. Yeah. So the the wire is <laughs> the wire is um, without question my favorite show of all time. When you when you first read for 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 this part. I mean, did you just have any idea that was going to, None to look whatsoever. like that? I knew it was a good script. Yeah. I knew it was a good story. I knew it was powerful. Yeah. And it was something that I knew I really wanted to do. But I never thought it would have this kind of lasting impact. And it would be so, such a forceful piece of television history, you know. And it's just, and, and here I'll let you know, I actually did not go in and read for Commissioner Burrell. Yeah. I went in and read for, for Daniels. Which was really which was, yeah yeah Lieutenant yeah. Daniels yeah wow. that's, the, that's the role I I'd gone in and listened to read for that a few weeks later they said well we want you to you got this job in the wire yeah. and we want you to do Commissioner Burrell I'm saying Commissioner Burrell who the hell is he <laughs> <laughs> I was Daniels yeah you know? it turned out that I mean I thought Commissioner Burrell certainly was a much better choice of roles for me yeah. I'm a collaborator. Yeah. It's something I believed in the project, and I, I believed in the people who were doing it. And I said, okay, you want me to come in and do this guy, Commissioner Burrell? Fine. I'll do the best I can with him and give you everything I got. And I don't get, you know, I don't get sidetracked by something that didn't happen because you thought that should have happened. So, and it turned out to be um, a very significant thing for me in my life and my career. All right, so this is the this is the rapid fire questions. Rapid fire. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna spit five questions out at you, and you go ahead after uh, after each question and just give me your your immediate quick response. Okay, you ready? Do you know CPR? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's the fastest car you've traveled in? A Charger. Oh yeah. Dodge Charger. Uh huh. Driving one today. Oh yeah? Zoom zoom. Yeah, boy. man. Whoa. That's it. <laughs> Are you ticklish? Oh uh, yes I am. I'm gonna let Ben test that one out. <laughs> 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 Frankie, it's seriously, impossible. man, I, I really appreciate you coming down. This was huge for us. So, again, the, the best of luck with your upcoming work, which is fantastic. Okay. And, uh, and and thanks again. And that's Dr. Frankie. Dr. Frankie. Yeah, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Frank, forever. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, guys.